Hey guys, this is Mike Tarallo with Click. I wanted to quickly showcase a new connector capability with Click Cloud Analytics using our new generative AI connectors for Amazon Bedrock. And those consist of AI21, Amazon Titan, Anthropic, and Cohere, to just name a few. Now, just to be clear, Amazon Bedrock is just the Amazon name of the service that offers the foundation models from these companies under a single API in which you can build generative AI into your Click applications without really writing any code. Let me give you a quick example of this. Okay, so I'm just going to use a completed example and then I'll back into how I did it. So I have an input box here, which we're going to use to show you how I can make the prompt dynamic. And then I just have a display of the generic prompt just so you can see it better on the presentation. We have some filters, KPIs, visualization. I also have a box that is actually showing the data that is being sent to the connector and then a text box that shows the response. So when nothing is selected, there's a calculation that is being sent under the covers to the large language model through the Anthropic connector. And basically it's saying, write a summary of the following sales details. Do not show calculations, provide details about best performing product type and products. So that prompt is being sent along with data directly from Click's data model. So this is an example of what the data looks like that's formatted. And then this is the response. And you can see in 2021 to 2023, arcade sticks and control pads were generally the best performing product type in terms of gross sales. Some of the top performing individual products include the Atari 5200 controller and in 2021 and 2022 generating over 8,000 and 7,900 respectively. I'm not going to go into this verbatim, but you can see the power of the response that's been generated by the large language model based off of the data that we selected. Now we can take advantage of the click associative engine by performing additional selections. So in this case, if I want to look at just the past two years, 2022 and 2023, and I want to look at just the orders that were fulfilled, and perhaps I'm just interested in uh, control pads compared to uh, other products such as uh, special orders, and then maybe arcade six. We can see the response gets generated here, the best performing product type in 2022, etc. Watch this. So I'm going to change the prompt to say, write a summary in a bulleted list by year of the following sales details, right? Making it completely dynamic and having more control on the type of response that I want. And you can see it's respecting my selections of 2022 and 2023, and it's creating a bulleted list, just simply showing me the best performing product type, arcade stick, best performing product, Atari 5200 controller, uh, arcade stick and keypad, etc. Okay, so just a quick example of showing how a particular use case can be generated with the power of the large language model connector from Amazon Bedrock, in this case, Anthropic. So now what I'm going to do is just go into the data load editor and I'm going to go into create a new connection just so you can see the connectors and where they are. So here's the A121, here's Amazon Titan, here's Anthropic, uh, here's Cohere. And all of these are very similar when it comes to setup. You basically select the connector. You need to put in your AWS access key, the secret, set up the token count, the temperature, top P, top K. These are all API related fields that are associated with the connectors. And then you also would select the type of model that you're using here. Anthropic uses something called Claude, etc. These are found within the API documentation of the particular model. And if I just was to select, for example, another new connector, and let's take a look at A1, uh, AI21, you can see same concept, you select your model, and then you put in your appropriate parameters. So once the connector has been set up, in this case here, I created one, the, the Cohere connector. You can see the Cohere command I named it right here is the name of this connector. Pretty much, it's very similar to the other connector we released for OpenAI where you can call it in real time, like I have here, based off of the object. In this case, I'm using the text object, and you can see my expression is just calling endpoints.script eval string, and then it has the appropriate 
arguments or parameters to set. And you can see there's the name. In this case, I'm sorry, I used a different name. This is Bedrock Claude Instant V1, which is the name of the connector. And then the column that comes back. And then the prompt that's going to be sent. In this case, the uh, Anthropic connector, for example, needs a prompt with this uh, terminology called human and ending in assistant, and then everything in between. And then here's the variable for V prompt. And then here's my data being sent as a header and then concatenated with the actual um, agar concat string. And you can see year, type, line item, and including the sales figure, in this case, a master item, that's going to then return the results. So this is basically the full entire prompt that's being sent to that connector. Okay, now pretty much all of them are set up uh, in that manner and uh, can be used to return those results. Okay, so that's what I wanted to share. There really isn't too much to this. I'll put some resources where this video is posted so you can see this and play with it on your own. And please post your questions and let me know how you think you'd use this in your business applications. Take care.